Smoking is a big deal in spine surgery. Most spine surgeons want you to quit smoking at least six weeks before their elective spine surgery. The risk of smoking, and that's tobacco use, cigarette use, with spine surgery is the following. One, the patients have less improvement of their pain because the nerves don't heal and they don't regenerate as well after the surgery. Two, smoking causes you to bleed more. So you have a higher risk of intraoperative blood loss, which is an issue. And two, that increased blood could lead to something called a post-operative hematoma. That's when you have extra bleeding in that area and that hematoma could either, if it gets big enough, squeeze the nerves or if it's in the neck, could um, decrease your ability to breathe after the surgery and it could be a emergent surgical procedure to get that hematoma out either in your neck or in your lumbar spine in your lower back. If you're gonna get a fusion with rods and screws in the metal cage, if you're smoking, that decreases the rate of healing, of getting that to heal. And if it doesn't heal, those screws might become loose eventually, might create bigger holes in the bone, and you might have to get a second surgery to extend it either up or down. So I usually tell patients they need at least six weeks of non-smoking, and I will frequently do a um, urine test to confirm that, just to, again, help protect you from me prior to doing certain fusion surgeries or certain spine surgeries to avoid complications.